In today's video, I'm going to give you four tips on how to make your subject's face look slimmer. Tip number one, fish face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Yulia and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have Golnasa here in my studio. Golnasa, she is an interior designer and she is actually the one who is designing our studio for the upcoming master courses. So let's get started. Tip number one is your lighting. To make your subject's face look slimmer, uh, you can use short lighting. Uh, short lighting is when you're shooting uh, towards the shadow side of your subject's face. Uh, what we have now is actually what is called broad lighting. Broad lighting is when the highlighted side is facing the camera and the shadow side is away from the camera. We need to get exactly opposite. We need to bring shadows to this side and highlight uh, side is gonna be away from the camera. So let me uh, take my first uh, shot to show you how it looks right now with the broad lighting. For right now, I'm using my 50 millimeter lens and I'm shooting with Nikon D850. So let me take a quick shot. Turn a little bit towards me. Yeah, that's enough. So now let me turn off my front light and I'm gonna turn on uh, my other light that is positioned on the side to my subject. My light is positioned to the side of my subject slightly above 45 degrees uh, towards her face to create a nice shadow under her chin. And for today's shoot, I'm using a Stella Pro CLX 10 uh, Continuous Light by Light and Motion. And on this side, I'm using the black side of V-flat to create negative fill to add even more shadows. And now we have the shadows on this side and highlights on the other side. Um, let me grab my camera and do a quick shot. I'm using the same lens, uh, 15 millimeter. Very good, one more time. Beautiful. Now when we compare these two images, Golnasa looks slimmer with a short lighting. And let's continue with a second tip. Tip number two, posing. To make your subject's face even slimmer, ask to bring uh, chin forward and tilt face a little bit down. So bring your chin forward and down, just like that. And that um, will accentuate the jawline. It makes your subject the neck looks longer. It adds uh, more shadow under the chin and it eliminates double chin if there is any. So now let's take another shot. Go on the side. Uh, chin forward and down. Yeah, that's beautiful. Very good. And one more time. So when we compare these two images, uh, Golnasa looks a little bit slimmer on the image on the right side. Um, but there is something that needs to be changed, which leads to tip number three. Tip number three, wearing darker color clothes. In the previous shot, uh, Golnasa's white color blouse gave a little bit of highlight under her chin um, it reflected light, so that is why I asked her to change to a black color blouse. Uh, let's take a shot and see what we're gonna get. Open your eyes, chin forward and down. Keep your back straight. Beautiful. Chin forward and down, Gonsa. And open your eyes. 
That's beautiful. Thank you so much. So now when we compare these two images, the image on the right side uh, has more shadows under her chin and makes her look slimmer. Tip number four is uh, your lens choice. And now we're gonna test six different uh, focal lengths and you're gonna be the judge. We're gonna try 35 millimeter, 50, 85, 105, 135, and 200. So let's get started. For today's lighting, I was using Stella Pro CLX10 by Light and Motion. For uh, my photos, I was using a lens Nikon 50mm 1.4, Nikon 85mm 1.8, and 70 to 200mm lens 2.8. And for my drink, I was using kombucha. And I was using Rotolux Soft Boxes by Ellen Chrome. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think about the images and what focal length was your favorite. Don't forget to sign up for the upcoming Boudoir Photography Master Course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.